Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here and uh, friends today I have decided to take a look at Dr. David Liu's ventures. He has been a serial entrepreneur uh, apart from being an academic and um, he's launched a bunch of uh, companies, Beam Therapeutics, Prime Medicine and Orbital Therapeutics. Uh, and also he has been um, creating new technologies uh, from his lab. So today I thought I'll uh, dwell into uh, the enterprises that he has launched how they were, when they were launched, what was the market cap, and how they are performing right now, and what's their pipeline looking like. So uh, that's the gist of this video. In today's video, I take a look at uh, prime medicine uh, specifically. I'm also looking at some com commonalities between uh, all the ventures uh, of Dr. Liu, uh, Beam, uh, Prime, as well as uh, Orbital. Uh, that said, uh, let's get started. <music> Welcome back friends. Prime Editing was developed by Dr. Uh, David Liu, a PhD, and Andrew uh, Anzalone, MD, PhD at the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard. Dr. Liu is the Richard Merkins Professor, and Director of the Merkin Institute of uh, Transformative Technologies in Healthcare, and Core Institute Member and Vice Chair of the Faculty at the Broad Institute, and a Professor of Chemistry and Chemical Biology at uh, Harvard University. Meanwhile, Dr. Anzalone conceived the prime editing concept and brought it to Dr. Liu's laboratory where it was developed. Uh, Dr. Anzalone is now advancing prime uh, editing as the head of prime editing platform at Prime Medicine. Prime Medicine based on the promise of prime editing to provide lifelong cures uh, to patients announced its launch with uh, $315 million in fundraising on July 2021. The financing comprised uh, $115 million uh, Series A funding, uh, based on the rapid progress of the science and the company, Prime Medicine expanded its syndicate support with an additional 200 million Series B financing approximately nine months after the company began operations. And investors in the Series A included ARC Ventures, ARCH, not ARK, uh, ARCH Ventures, uh, F Prime Capital, GV, and New Path Partners. And the Series B included all Series A investors, which were already there plus new investors like uh, Kasdan Capital, uh, Cormorant uh, Asset Management, Moore Strategic Ventures, Public Sector Pension Investment Board or PSP uh, Investments, uh, Red Mile Group, Samsara Biocapital uh, Bio and uh, Funds and Accounts advised by T. Rove Price Associates Inc. and a number of additional unnamed uh, life sciences investment funds which all came with smaller, smaller uh, shares into it but that was the series b and soon after that very very quickly in october 2022 prime issued its ipo and raised 175 million dollar by selling approximately 10.3 million shares at dollar 17 each the company has got 18 research programs across the diseases of blood liver uh, ear eye and lung and uh, none are in human trials at this point of time uh, but it's a broad uh, pipeline. Its IPO filing did not reveal when it, expe when it expects to begin its uh, first phase one trial for any of the therapies in its pipeline. Let's quickly take a look at the pipeline of, um, uh, of this company, of uh, Prime Medicine. I'm going to take you into their website. This is the website of uh, Prime Medicine. And I'm just going to directly go into the pipeline section. So as you can see, uh, uh, in, in case of uh, blood-related uh, uh, diseases, we are looking at uh, chronic, chronic uh, granulomatous uh, disease. Uh, this is a X vivo delivery, and uh, end enabling is going to happen shortly. But apart from that, everything else is in a very uh, nascent stage, uh, and progress needs to happen before it can become... Uh, revenue generating so it's a long way off as we have seen our other companies like CRISPR therapeutics and editors you know how long it takes uh, before you come anywhere close to monetization so there's a long trek ahead for prime medicine but they have uh, 18 uh, therapies out here so uh, two in uh, blood two in liver uh, two for eyes two for ears and then in neuromuscular, uh, they have a whole bunch, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven therapies out here. 
and uh, in case of uh, muscle they have uh, dmd many companies are attempting dmd and very few have succeeded so far so we'll have to see where this goes it's still in the discovery stage then cystic fibrosis for lungs is another one and then finally in the partnered program it's like um, it's like within the family because beam therapeutics has got the same dna out there so beam is collaborating with them for a sickle cell disease x vivo uh, it's um, it's i think it's just in the concept stage they have not even marked it as discovery so it's in very very early stages out there so you saw the pipeline out there and um, in terms of financials having reported a loss of 44 cents per share in their latest earning report the share price has fallen almost 35 percent since the ipo high uh, let me take you to the trading view platform while i uh, describe what's happened with their price action so here's the, the price chart for um, prime medicine and each of these candles is the one day candle and this is the candle for 19th of may 2023 and as you can see, uh, we have dropped from a peak out here, uh, which was 21.76. So I'm just going to take a widget uh, and I'll put the measuring widget out there and bring it all the way down to the current price. And we can see that it has dropped around 36.18% uh, from the peak of uh, uh, peak after IPO. So it's been a steep drop, but it's been uh, performing much better than the other uh, shares that we have seen, like DNA or uh, for that matter, uh, uh, CRISPR therapeutics and all, which have fallen significantly from their peak. Uh, but again, if you look at when they were launched, it was only 2022, so not much time has passed since the uh, IPO. Uh, but the, ch uh, the shares are looking much uh, stronger right now. They seem to be on a bull channel. If I was to draw connecting three, line, uh, three points, uh, this is what it would look like. So this is the bull channel. I'm just going to move it a little bit up. So this is the bull channel on which we are traveling. It's not too steep. So I think it is a sustainable channel. Momentum is above average and MACD is uh, bearish at this point of time. But today, uh, the stock has gained 6.36%. If I look at the latest news, uh, there isn't much that can influence the uh, price. But they are going to present in a few conferences and they're going to show their uh, uh, data. So that's about all it is. That I don't think that's market moving information so overall it seems the market has got a recent uh, recently developed a certain amount of confidence on prime medicine and we are on a bull channel so that's how it uh, it seems right now so having fallen almost 35 percent uh, I, I think we saw 36 percent since the ipo the share is currently trading at uh, close to 14 uh, 14 dollars and a market capitalization of uh, 1.356 billion please don't hold me to these numbers because they fluctuate and at the time of recording these are the numbers i got but um, it's subject to change because it's very dynamic but that's the ballpark of where the company is right now prime editing is a next generation gene editing technology that acts like a, a dna word processor to search and replace disease causing genetic sequences at their precise locations in the genome without resulting in a double strand uh, dna break that cause unwanted uh, cellular changes friends those of you who have been watching this channel for a long time you know that in many of the videos i have covered the disadvantages with uh, double strand breaks uh, with crispr cas9 so there is carcinogen uh, possibility and there is uh, unintended uh, uh, edits uh, which are off base. So all those things are avoided by uh, using uh, prime editing technology. It's versatile and with the potential to address more than 90% of known disease causing mutations and works in a variety of um, uh, ways of dividing and non-dividing uh, primary human cells as well as in animals. Uh, prime editing has been shown by multiple uh, independent laboratories to make genome edits with high f fidelity, making uh, edits precisely uh, at the desired location with minimal or no editing uh, in other parts of the genome. Uh, together, these features uh, overcome several technical barriers attributed to delivering gene editing technologies. Uh, John Evans, uh, the CEO of uh, Beam Therapeutics, is a common factor in the board of directors and he's present in the board of directors for Prime Medicine, wh whereas he's the CEO of uh, Beam Therapeutics. And also in the pipeline, you saw that there is a candidate out there for sickle cell, which is in a very advanced stage of discussion. So they haven't even uh, put it in the exploration section or... Um, uh, even in the initial stage of the pipeline. They have just mentioned it out there. So um, I think there's going to be a lot of synergies between uh, Beam, uh, Prime, and Orbital. And uh, those synergies can uh, help all the three companies 
uh, I am not very clear how it's going to benefit the shareholders. Uh, and um, overall, I think uh, uh, Prime Medicine uh, is looking good on the charts. Uh, it's got a nice uh, broad pipeline. Uh, it's got an internal c customer in Beam Therapeutics for collaboration. But I look forward to more external collaboration with uh, uh, pharma giants uh, for uh, some of these uh, areas that... Uh, uh, prime medicine is looking at or maybe introduction of new candidates uh, based on collaboration or tie up with big pharma uh, that i think would be a positive catalyst for prime medicine uh, i don't know when that's going to happen but we'll keep track of these companies in my next video i'm going to take a look at uh, orbital and at the end of it we'll wrap it all up by looking at um, the synergies between these uh, companies and if there is any overlap in their therapies so that's what we are looking at so if you have invested in prime medicine, please do put it in the comment and let me know what is your thesis, what are your expectations, whether you are in the red or you are in the green. Uh, I would be very interested to know that. With that, I would like to end this video. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.